there are two sides to every problem. People are divided on their worldly views on certain topics such as dress code. Dress code is for the most part placed by the Anaheim Union School District. The rules and regulations are set for us, the school students, to follow. The schools and principals simply enforce this code. This well includes that students are to be groomed in a manner which reflects good taste and decency. This will not detract from or interfere with the educational process, instructional program, general morale, or image of the school according to section 17 of the school agenda handed to everyone at the beginning of the school year. The following are not accepted on campus. Skirts, dresses, shorts that are shorter than mid-thigh, local apparel, tube tops, or any top that shows the mid-reef or exposes reveals excessive area of the chest or back, exposed undergarments, slippers or pajamas, gloves worn without a jacket, socks pulled up to the knees with shorts worn below the knee, sunglasses in the classroom, oversized baggy clothing, gang look is not appropriate, cut torn pants with holes, shreds above the knee, hats, caps, bandanas, hairnets, headbands or sweatshirts, no hats, no baseball hats, wallet chains, spiked bracelets, collars, excessive metal on belts, dress, grooming or accessories that are unsafe, dangerous, distracting or a health hazard including those which display offensive or obscene symbols, signs, slogans or words degrading any culture, religious, gender, political or ethnic groups, display language or symbols oriented towards sex, drugs, alcohol, tobacco, violence or weapons. And here's my perspective. One area is school safety, and that's with hoods and hats and those sorts of things. And, and the example I was making there is we need to be able to identify our students. We need to be able to address that before that threat occurs, before something happens. I took a hat the other day that had profanity on it. That's certainly not appropriate, and it can certainly be offensive to some people. The idea that administration is afraid that somebody is going to harass me or some boy is going to get distracted. People see a heck of a lot worse with all of the social media everybody has access to. You've seen more than somebody with bare shoulders. I created a social media poll for classmates to vote on. According to 48 people who took the time to vote, 55 percent voted that school's dress code is incorrect and 45 percent voted that dress code is easy to follow. Thus, through extensive questions to all voters, I found that 55 percent of people who voted incorrectly have have a view that dress code is quite straightforward on what to wear but have problems with certain clothing items such as hats, hoods, torn jeans or patches or showing shoulders, a student claims. A lot of times clothes don't affect someone's gang related stance and you could spot gang-related students. Schools should focus on helping those kids instead of getting them in trouble for what they wear. Another on the topic of ripped and torn jeans. Even though we are allowed to have a tear at the knee, there's a certain style of pants that has a torn at the thigh but a patch under it. It's the same color as the jeans, just with the outer tears. There's been multiple girls that have been dress coded for these pants and that's up to the principal to decide on, whether they are violating dress code or not. The principal should address this issue. Many of the students against dress code policies argue that there is nothing wrong or distracting about showing a young person's body. It is our bodies to decide how we want to represent it. Mentions a female from the senior class of 2018. There is nothing distracting about shoulders. Another mentions. We have to cover ourselves up for people so they don't get distracted or so we don't make them uncomfortable. Girls already have to live in a society where they have to correct themselves in every way possible. I believe that dress code is unnecessary because as young women, we came to school to learn and grow, not to be judged by the clothes we are pleased to wear. In rebuttal to the argument, a voter who voted on easy to follow mentions. School is like work. At our jobs, they usually give us uniforms, right? Or like guidelines to follow. I think it's not much the school is asking us to follow. In school, we can pretty much wear what we want to express ourselves. And sure, there are limits, but to be fair, limits are good and some people take it too far. Like, it isn't necessary to push the boundaries sometimes. And it's school, a semi-professional place, and we go there to work and learn. A student states, Dress code hinders complete self-expression. It is also sexist towards the girls in the sense that there are more rules for girls. There is a huge double standard. It also perpetuates a rape culture because in a way it expresses that the way somebody dresses might be the reason why someone became distracted or wanted to think of them in a sexual manner. 
Everybody is so used to the idea that the way a girl dresses is an issue when in reality, people who have the mentality to even abuse or assault anybody is the problem. But by the dress code, you are telling someone to change what they wear. You're basically telling them it's their fault. They got abused or assaulted and that's victim shaming and blaming. Okay, so hearing the comments, we go from, <laughs> we go from, we should be able to dress how we want to the comment that says, hey, this is a semi-professional learning environment to rape where where do we make the leap from a dress code to something as heinous and vicious and violating as rape those those comments take me exactly to the point we need to address we have to view our thinking the person that I agree with 100% the comment, and I have no idea who wrote it, is that at school we're here to learn. We have a semi-professional dress code expectation, and that is the reason we have it. That person understands where I'm coming from. The idea that dress code is suppressing your the way you express yourself, sexist thing, or that people who establish dress codes fear that there is a rape culture, those folks are really missing the point. I think that there is a irresponsibility culture. I'm not sure that there is a rape culture. I think we should make very clear that rape needs to be stopped. But the idea that everybody out there is on the verge of raping a woman, which is sort of what rape culture suggests, is just not true. And it's just a slander against men. If there's anyone assaulted either physically or verbally, they should report it. What the school dress code is trying to enforce is the prevention of any abuse or assault, a dress code that will not detract or interfere from the educational process, instructional program, general morale, or image of the school shift our thinking from that and let's look at the real purpose of school. The real purpose of school is to get students ready for life. I, I try to listen, I hear what students say. Well, what's wrong with all? So we, okay, you can have a little hole in the knee, but I'm telling you, the people we brought in before, their pants are just shredded. Look like they went through a grinder. School is learning to follow guidelines. School is about learning to play the educational game. So following a dress code, it's kind of like being on time. Nobody argues that because they know they're supposed to be on time. We're just expecting students to dress a little more in line with the professional work environment to get you ready for life. Oh, but they claim, they, I mean, they leap to rape culture. I mean, that's how exaggerated dress code gets. When you're out of school, you're on your own time, you're at the mall, you're at the party, whatever, dress however you want. But at school, we do have an expectation that we are preparing students for life. And following some simple rules is not out of line, I don't think. No one is ever going to be pleased with the outcome, but they will just simply have to abide by the rules. Consequences will have to be enforced at a higher standard so that people stop breaking the school dress code policy. After the poll, the most valuable piece of information were words by a classmate of the senior class. She mentions. I don't know, it's quite easy to wear holeless jeans and long enough shirts.